What is going on my YouTube family? Well, just got back from the pound and I was going to make a video about going there and doing it, but I decided not to. But I adopted myself another one-eyed kitty. Didn't intentionally go there dude, thinking to do that, but I saw this cat. And today is Thursday and they are saying that, yeah, they're going to remove the eye, they're going to spay her, and then she's available. And I was like, well, can I just do it right now? And they're like, yeah. So, Monday, I'll have a new cat. One dog, two cats. The shelters are so overloaded here in Tucson that they were talking about having to put some down for it. And so, one thing about me is that I have like a really big soft spot for animals. Like if I had enough money and a big enough house and everything, I mean, I would have quite a few dogs and a lot of cats and more than likely other animals. That's just me, you know. But any hoodle, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, since I made that one video talking about um, things that motovloggers do that I hate, and you guys seem to like it, I think I do something along the same lines. Which what it is is things about motovlogging that I hate, you know, as being a motovlogger. So. I well, guess we'll go ahead and talk about that one today. So the first thing that I hate about motovlogging, by far, the, very much the only thing that I really, really hate about it is editing. Now I'll give you guys a little glimpse here of what editing is like. So imagine, you know, because right now it's hot. You know, we're getting into the hundreds now here in Arizona, at least in Tucson. And so you ride around, make a video, do things with friends, you get home and, and it takes it out of you. You know, being in the sun with gear and everything on when it's 100, 105, 110, it really does, like it drains the shit out of you. You get home and you're exhausted. And then you go here, you sit down, you're like, I'm gonna edit this video, I'm gonna put something up, it'll be fun. And then you see this. All these videos are all probably 10 to 15 minutes long, so that gives you an idea of editing and how tedious it can be. So yeah, as you can see, because the way it does, especially if you shoot in 4K, is the files are so big and there's so many of them. Even just for like a video like this, that's gonna be a short basic video. I'm not going to multiple places, doing different shots. It, it takes a lot, a lot of, of time to organize it and do it properly. You know, if, if you wanna put any sort of effort into it. And that's kind of like the dark side of YouTube. Now, you don't know the power of the dark side. A lot of big motor vloggers pay people to edit their videos. I know Chase on Two Wheels pays someone to edit. I know Yamini to pay someone to edit. I know um, Snowcat even one time flipped up or messed up and said that he paid someone to edit his videos. But there's other ones out there like Do It With Dan and stuff. I know he edits his own because he always comments about how much it sucks. <laughs> so yeah. Editing videos does suck, and even just a basic video, it does take some time and effort to, to pull one out there. So it's not like doing YouTube is is anything. What are you doing? Can you get in your own lane? That'd be really appreciated if you could. Uh, it does take a little bit of time and effort to put each video out. That's why people that I've said before that put out daily videos and they're good and they edit them themselves, props to you, man, because that shit, that shit takes forever. Ooh, an STI, look at you, very nice. So yeah, editing, I hate it. I really, really do. It really does suck. Wait, did you just put your right blinker on and go left, dude? Really? <laughs> Alrighty then. Now, the second thing, or one of the other things that I hate about doing YouTube, which I've already made this video one time before, and I didn't plug my fucking microphone in. So this is the second time doing that. And so that's one thing I hate is either the GoPro messes up, you're, you don't plug your audio in, the audio messes up, files can get corrupted on an SD card for whatever fucking reason. And people, that, anyone that shoots with SD cards knows the, the pain it is when you go to plug it in and edit it. 
and it's just all fucked up and you all that time and it's just gone and you just gotta throw it away. Especially with GoPros. Now GoPro, when it works, is fantastic. I love it. It's perfect. But it seems to me like the GoPros nowadays, they're trying to put so much technology in this tiny little box that it's it's getting to be a little much. Like the, the technology just isn't there for it to be perfect. So if you do buy a GoPro, know that you will have problems with it at some point in time. My 7 will freeze sometimes. Um, and even when I go to work, and put it in my locker, it's off, completely off. Uh, Wi-Fi is off, voice commands are off, and it'll drain the battery. Down to, it'll be at 60% when I put it in my locker, when I get back off work, it's at zero. And they're talking about making some update for it, whatever. But, so that sucks. Whenever you put time and effort into a video and it just, it's fucked. Especially with audio. GoPro's audio is, is shit. It really is. So that's something I hate about it. And so now, this next thing might come off as me being kind of a douchebag about it, but it, it is, and I'm, you know, I'll let you guys know how I feel. I don't, I don't fix shit. The question that YouTubers that have any sort of content even remotely related to motorcycles is, what is a good beginner bike? For the love of baby Jesus, would you stop asking YouTubers and people that, you know what I mean, on, on any sort of platform that ride motorcycles, what is a good beginner bike? There are so many YouTube videos, so many articles on Google, everything that will explain to you in depth what a good beginner bike is. Stop asking us what a, begin, a good beginner bike is. Straightforward, the answer I give everybody, just because I don't know you, there's so many factors that go into it. Ninja 300 Honda Rebel. Look it up. That's a good beginner bike. That's it. I'm not gonna sit here on YouTube and have some major in-depth conversation with you about what style of bike you ride, you know, what size are you, what are you thinking you wanna do with the bike, do you have any experience, like all this stuff. There's so many factors that go into it. So, go online, be a big boy, and do some research and figure it out on your own what a good beginner bike is for you specifically. That's the issue I have, because it's not just a straightforward answer. It, it, it really, I get that question like at least six times a week. At least six times a week. And the other thing that I don't, I don't necessarily hate it because it's just part of the game, but the comments you'll see on YouTube are fucking hilarious. They really, really are. Especially if you're putting content out. It's funny as shit. As angry as some of these people fucking get. in the comments they get triggered over a fucking YouTube video <laughs> so much to the point that they like they wish death upon people you know and that's just crazy to me wish death upon somebody for a YouTube video give me a break but I mean other than that yeah uh, you should probably stop at your stop sign there other than that I mean YouTube to me is really really fun I enjoy doing it I'm not getting paid for any of this and I don't think I ever really will. But YouTube to me is fun. And I enjoy the shit out of it. I really, really do. The people I've met because of it, just with my channel, the friends I've made, is great. Like, it's a great way to get out there. If you're okay with putting yourself out there, you know, with content, knowing that you're going to get judged for it, but you're going to find those people that really, really like your content no matter what. Even if you have just 50 subscribers, you're gonna find people that enjoy your content and will interact with you, and it's, it's fucking amazing, it's, it's fantastic. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, and you, you can actually afford getting some, you know, some equipment to do it, and even if you just wanna shoot on just your, your iPhone or your, your Android or whatever, just making small little things, do it. I think you'd be really surprised at 
the people you meet in kind of the doors that'll open for you. Because of YouTube, I've been able to ride bikes that I never thought I'd be able to ride, ever. I've met people that I, that I would have never met and it would have sucked. So if you're morally thinking about it, go for it. And that's kind of a life thing too. If you're thinking about doing something that'll make you happy, fucking give it a shot, man. Like, what do you have to lose? Give it a shot. You have such a short time on this earth. Fucking go and try and experience things, experience life. You know, don't be one of those people that sits at home and by the time you're 50, 55 years old, 60 years old, we're, I mean, let's face it, once you're like 60, 65, if you've made it that far, you're, the vast majority of us are, we're hitting the end. You know what I mean? That's it. I just turned 30. And like, I've realized that more than likely, I'm right at about the 50%, you know, right at 50% of what I, I can live with my health issues. I'm probably, maybe a little bit over 50%. So you gotta get out there and experience things, man. You really, really do. Other than that, my peeps, just a little short video. What time is it right now? About 5.30. We got a live stream coming out here soon. Come check that out. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know when I'll upload this. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, come check out my Instagram, hep underscore 520. Come talk to me, come say what's up. Other than that, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, bye.